Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can crop videos for your Instagram Reels. So let's say you filmed the video and you want to post it to your Instagram Reels, but you didn't film that video with the 9 by 16 aspect ratio in mind. In this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can crop, rotate and resize your videos so they fit into an Instagram Reel. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, or the link is going to be in the description as well, so you can just click on Veed through there. Now, once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. Once we're in Veed's video editor, we're going to click on the upload video button and select the clip that we want to turn into an Instagram reel. So if I open that, it's now imported into Veed's video editor. And if I click play, let's just say that when I clap my hands, I vanish. As you can see, I have my video. So the first thing you'll notice is that this video is the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and we don't want that. We want to turn it into the 9 by 16 aspect ratio, which is the Instagram real aspect ratio, but that's also the same as an Instagram story. So to do this is very straightforward. In the top right, we have the canvas size drop down menu. If I click on this, I then have a bunch of different social media aspect ratios that I can choose from. And we need to scroll down until we see the story 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So if I click on this, as you can see, my video is now the size of an Instagram reel. So if I go back to the beginning, click play. Let's just say that when I clap my hands, I vanish. As you can see, I now have an Instagram reel, but you might be thinking, yes, but that's cropped out way too much of my video. Well, not to worry. If I click on the video tab, I can actually click on fit to frame and that will fit the entire video in the nine by 16 aspect ratio. So if I choose to download it now, the whole video will be there with these two black bars on the top and the bottom. But what you can do as well is click on the video and drag it and resize it manually so you can fit it exactly how you want onto the video canvas. For an example, I could place it like this right here and then leave some space at the bottom to put some text or some subtitles. I also want to mention that you can change the background color. So if I want to make it green, for an example, I now have a green background. I've left a space at the bottom just to show you that I can add subtitles. If I click on the subtitle tab, use the auto subtitle tool and click start. V then automatically transcribes all of the audio from my video into text and turns that text into subtitles. So as we can see now, if I play it back from the beginning, I have my subtitles. Let's just say that when I clap my hands, I vanish. And obviously I'm only saying this one sentence, so there's only one sentence. Um, I can also move around the subtitle and I can also change the colors, change the presets. I'm going to choose this one with the white text and the black drop shadow. And I can also do things such as change the font for an example, but I'm going to undo that because I like this font right here. I can make it a tiny bit bigger. Let's say if I choose the 60 font, there we go. This is perfect. And then I can also do a bunch of other things such as add audio, add images, uh, change the speed, draw on the video. But once you're happy with your Instagram reel, you can go ahead and click on the download button in the top right. Then Veed will start to render your Instagram reel. And once it's finished, you can download it and then post it to Instagram. And that is how to crop videos for your Instagram reels. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.